What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode. I'm your host JV and today we're going to finish unboxing the Plasma Series, Ghostbusters, Gozer and Dana Barrett. Um, I did already unbox the uh, four Ghostbusters themselves in the previous video. If you want to check them out I'll leave a description, uh, a link in the description below. And um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get these unboxed. Now they do come with a little accessory. Well, Dana Barrett doesn't. But Gozer comes with like just, just some little lightning. That's about it. And they also come with a piece of Vince Clortho, the Keymaster. Um, seems like Gozer has the head and Dana has the body. She's got the body. Alright, um, so yeah, let's go. Let's open up the uh, Sumerian God first, Gozer. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, so there she is in all her uh, Sumerian goddess or god self, the Destructor. All right. Well, the hands actually pop right off, and then you reattach it with these little guys right here. So I'll get you all a better um, close up here in a moment. But yeah, it's got a lot of dexterity to it. The waist you can move around quite a bit. The legs rotate in every which way, the foot. So yeah, dexterity on these things is pretty good. Um, that way you can pose them however you want. And um, yeah, so that's pretty badass. You know, if uh, Sumerian God ever asks you, if you were a god, you gotta say yes. Just say yes! Damn it, Ray. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we go. The Destructor, the Traveler. Uh, f uh, well, she was the villain until the State Puff Marshmallow Man came in and got roasted of course by the uh, four Ghostbusters but um, yeah let's get you all a closer look at this yeah okay and here we go we just got her arms or her little electric hands set up here for y'all that looks pretty cool um, other than that she's got the flat top she's got the bumps all over her body uh, the color, what, it's a little iridescent. It's a cool, I guess, yeah, cool color. It's nothing much to it, though. Just, uh, like this tannish iridescent color. But, yeah, all in all, pretty awesome character. And, uh, yeah, definitely going to get her displayed properly with the, uh, the other figures back there. And the head of Vince Clortho, it's a pretty good size. You can't really open up the jaw too much, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and get them all set up and we'll get them Get them all put together for y'all so you can check it out So yeah, that was goes with the Gozerian and now on to Dana Barrett. Let's get her cracked open All right, here we have miss Dana Barrett aka the gatekeeper Zool um, Yeah, so she's a uh, got her we got her dressed up in her Little dress that she's wearing after she's been possessed, and she's you know floating above her bed, and um, yeah, I remember watching it as a kid, and then seeing the part just before she gets possessed. She gets home from like I think from working out or whatever, and she sits down in her little recliner, and then under the left side you see you see the glow come from the kitchen, and then you know these arms pop up. Well, she thinks she turns first, and then these arms just pop up out of nowhere and just start just grab her. This hand right here definitely grabbed a titty. I'm just saying, he did that intentionally. I was like watching, I was like, just copped a feel. It's probably like eight years old when I saw it, but he, he, was like, he just grabbed a titty. Lucky guy. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, and then she gets pulled in there and then she gets possessed and then she looks all sexy in her, her flowing, almost see-through dress. And uh, yeah, and then when Vince Clortho shows up to her apartment, she's kind of just sitting on that same recliner but in like in a sexy pose just kind of half off you know just waiting where the hell is this key master anyway um yeah this is a great looking figure i'm definitely going to get her set up in a in a proper pose in that same try to get her to you know posed up in that same sexy position that she had on that on that recliner but um anyway all in all another awesome looking character iconic and then it's you know it's sigourney weaver also she's pretty much She's a bad bitch, you know, she's been, she, she was Ripley in Aliens, that's pretty badass in itself. Um, but yeah, been a lot of great movies. And um, yeah, I think she is reprising her role. I know she did it, the, it was like an end credit scene at in Afterlife, 
they showed her and and Bankman, and she's there shocking him like he did in the first movie uh, with the college students. And but yeah, I hope uh, I haven't seen Frozen Empire yet. It just dropped. Um, <clears throat> trying to stay away from spoilers. I won't be able to see it till you know next week. But anyway, um, I hope she does make a cameo or you know they have a role set up for her. Uh, a bigger role in this in this movie. And also Rick Moranis, I hope he's in it. Um, or maybe it's maybe he's in the end credit. I don't know. But all in all, uh, back to Dana. So yeah, here she is in all her glory. And oh yeah, Vince Clortho. Look how big this body is. Holy crap. So I'll pop the head on for y'all real quick. Let's see. There we go. They're on there. All right, and I do have the other four legs. Let me just grab them real quick. Got them. All right. So let's uh, let me put this together real quick for y'all. All right. It's just a matter of snapping all these pieces together. Bam. There we go. Vince Clortho, the terror dog, in all his glory. That's a damn good size uh, figure right there. And you can articulate the head, you know, up, down, left, right. The arms are pretty articulate as well. You can move the paws up and down, the forearm left, right, back and forth. So you can pose them out however you want. But that's pretty badass. I'm, I'm really digging this. And um, there is also a figure out there of Vince Clortho. Um, it's, you know, it's Rick, Ram Rick Moranis uh, when he has, <clears throat> after he first gets possessed. And he's got the little helmet on that Egon's testing him. Um, anyway, and he also comes with a little terror dog head that you can put on him as well. Um, it's a, it's, I think that one's made by Hasbro. It's a different company, but I, I'll probably end up picking that up soon. Hopefully I'll be able to share that with y'all. Uh, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. And I think it's a collector's item, but I'm still going to open it. Fuck it. You live once. Um, but anyway, back to this. That's just fucking awesome. This terror dog right here. It's Clortho, um, and it's a good size figure, like I said. The jaw, um, like I said, doesn't open up too much. You can open up a little, little bit, but all in all, like I said, you can pose them whenever you want. And, um, yeah, so all these are freaking awesome figures to me. I hope you like them, too. Like we said, it uh, goes to the Gozerian, Sumerian god. If you're ever asked if you are a god, say yes. Um, from the Destructo, the Traveler. So yeah, here we go. <laughs> and then of course Dana Barrett. Um, so all in all, the Plasma series, great. I'm gonna go ahead and put some links so you can check out uh, where I got them. I got, them, I got them off Amazon. And if you want them, put a link in the description. You can check them out as well. And yeah, um, we got a geek crate that came in. So I'll be recording that for you all soon, getting that uploaded. Um, and yeah. Hope you enjoyed this one. I appreciate you watching and until the next one, peace.